Two former police officers turned themselves in. As we first shared at five yesterday, they are charged in connection with the violent arrest of a woman with dementia in Loveland. Dylan Thomas broke the news that they were in custody this morning. Joins us live now in Fort Collins tonight. One of those officers, Austin Hopp, was just in court. Karen, this courthouse right behind me is the same courthouse that officers throughout Larimer County routinely come to in order to testify against those who they have arrested and those who they have issued citations to. But now Austin Hopp, the arresting officer in the Karen Garner case, was the one who was masked and shackled as he shuffled his way in to the courtroom. The judge today only permitted still photography, but the images say quite a lot. Wearing a lime jailhouse outfit, his hands and legs chained, former police officer Austin Hopp made his first court appearance. Hopp is accused of breaking 73-year-old Karen Garner's arm during an arrest last June. He failed to report the injuries and his use of force to the superiors. Garner, who lives with dementia, sat in a cell for hours without medical assistance as Hopp is heard laughing with his peers about the video of that injury. Yesterday, a warrant was issued for the arrest of Hop and his partner, Daria Jalali. CBS4 was first to break the news today that both had been arrested and booked into the Larimer County Jail. The police chief, Robert Tyser in Loveland, says he does support the charges that his former officers now face. Hop faces two felony charges and one misdemeanor in this case. The two felonies involve assault and attempt to influence an officer. They say he allegedly falsified some of his records when he was reporting this issue. Daria Jalali faces three misdemeanors, all of hers related to failure to intervene and failure to report as well. We just learned a few moments ago that Officer Hop, after his appearance here at the courthouse, bonded out on a $20,000 bond. Officer Jalali, former Officer Jalali, I should say, bonded out on $5,000 bond. Reporting live in Fort Collins, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First.